Hello, I'm Sangeeta, your instructor for the class Design for Production. Uh, let's talk a little about what this class is all about. Well, it is um, designing, designing for print as well as digital production. Uh, it covers various aspects of design, uh, right from the research to planning to concept, from concept to creation creation to implementation or production of design okay so to begin with um, let's talk about two words art and design they are two different words so they obviously have two different meanings in my opinion they are indeed two different palettes art may or may not have a function but define but design certainly does and this function may differ from one design project to another uh, it may range from creating a simple personal logo to uh, designing a corporate identity a simple business card or a flyer magazine advertisements tv commercials uh, digital applications or creating an online presence no matter what each and every design will mean accomplishing a goal, a function. So, who decides this goal? It is the client. Uh, the client decides uh, the goal of the project, which is created by the designer, and then goes to a production process maybe goes to the printer, commercial printers, or developers. These are the two medias, the print or the digital, through which our designs reach the audience. So you can see already that it is not a job of one single person. It always is teamwork. Design also is not a matter of chance. It requires a thorough understanding. Uh, it's a systematic process. It requires an understanding of several factors. So let's talk a little about this factors. What is it that influences design? One, obviously we need to understand as designers, we do need to understand the goals or the requirements of our client. Um, understanding the product itself uh, also, understanding who uses this product, who are the customers, where do they buy the product from, how do they use the product, do they like the product or will they like to see some more um, enhancements to the product. So, knowing about the audience is, is actually a process of design or research which is called as um, target audience research and we all are consumers we all buy things when we go to the supermarket we do see a range of products so if I wanted to buy a shampoo or a candy or a, or a bread or biscuits um, I do have a choice to buy from a lot of different brands what this means for our client is that the client has competitors. It may be existing competitors or may be possibility of uh, new competitors entering into the market. So we as designers uh, need to understand the competitors as well, which is known as the competitor research analysis. Um, Knowing these factors, knowing the requirements of the clients, the, the product, the consumers, the competitors, helps us to write a design brief. So what that design brief does is actually defines, streamlines the goal of the project. Uh, in design terms, we actually understand or we, we can make a problem statement. So if there is a problem statement, there has to be a solution, right? Um, 
to get to a perfect design solution it is also necessary for us designers to understand what is the unique selling point of this product of the client's product okay? so in short you may have heard this term USP which is unique selling point now once we have a thorough understanding of this it, it actually is giving us a very good grounding to start uh, the actual design work and in my experience um, of working in, in the industry um, the design concept generally originates from this ground work okay. so you see how important it is to uh, the stage uh, to research um, and plan the design it is same like taking a vacation like when we decide to take a vacation only saying that or imagining a vacation actually does not mean a real vacation we do need, we do need to plan isn't it um, where to go with whom to go when to go how to go there some of us also may need to take um, do things like taking um, a holiday from work okay. so this is the same with design you just can't be starting design it it involves a lot of careful research and planning which is your first assignment research and planning good luck